Today we're going to be talking about CG friendly hair serums that are suitable for wavy and curly hair that are available in India or at least the ones that I currently own. A CG friendly hair serum. I promise you it is not what you think. If you're like me then before you started the curly girl method you probably used the live on serum and essentially that serum is made of silicones and that is what tackled those flyaways and gave your hair that instant characteristic shine. However when it comes to CG friendly serums there are no silicones in them and I promise you going into it it's not what you think. It's different from what you're expecting. It's not going to instantly tackle your flyaways and make your hair look nice and beautiful and shiny and glossy. And in the beginning, if you don't know what to expect, then you're probably not going to be comfortable with them and you're not going to like them. Because now that you've started the curly girl method, the serum that you're going to be using is essentially going to be a formulation of either oil or oil with a few other ingredients. And so if you use a tiny bit, then it will give your hair a bit of shine and it is going to help you with your flyaways to a certain extent. Very honestly, yeah, it's going to help you with your frizz and your flyaways. But within reason, it's not going to instantly tackle the problem. And also when it comes to shine, so look, if you use a tiny bit, then it's going to help your hair with that shine. And it's also going to prevent from further tangles. But if you use too much of it and then you forget about your hair and you let it be, then the chances are that the oil is going to be so sticky that your curl clumps are going to get stuck to each other even more. And when you're not paying attention to it, right? So let's say a few days go by and you've slathered a lot of CG friendly serum on your hair and then you've forgotten about it. What you'll notice is, or rather what I've noticed is, that my hair gets even more tangled up. It's like as if my curl clumps get stuck together even more and then it becomes far worse. Especially when I go to detangle it the next time I'm washing my hair. And so I feel like there's this balance that you need to strike with it. You need to figure out exactly how much your hair needs. So if that is like two or three drops, then that is how much you stick to. And don't use more than that. I also feel like if you're using too much of it and you're using the same pillowcase and you sleep in a pineapple, then what happens is that oil rubs on the pillowcase at night, that pillowcase rubs on your cheek and then we get pimples on our cheeks, which is something that you've probably experienced now that you've started CG. Because I feel like the acne breakouts that I get on my cheek have become far more frequent now that I've started the curly girl method and now that I'm on my journey. I notice that whenever I use anything that's heavy and like oils and butters, there's a high chance that I'm going to break out on my cheeks. And since I already have oily skin, I feel like this problem becomes far worse for me. In this video, I also want to take you through all of the curly hair serums that I currently own and I want to talk about my thoughts on them, the performance, etc. In my log video, I had spoken to you about some of the light oils that I had at that point and I used to use them as hair serums. And I'm going to insert some footage of my favorites. I'm not going to talk about all of them. If you want to see me talk and demonstrate all of them in detail, then maybe you could check out my log video. For this video, I'm just going to talk about the ones that I have been impressed with and the ones that I feel like I've been reaching towards quite a bit. The first oil that I want to talk about is grapeseed oil. This oil is ideally suited to low porosity hair. It is able to penetrate the hair shaft and strengthen the hair. It is super light and moisturizing and can also be used for heat protection. It is also able to fight frizz but within reason. And even though this oil is best suited to low porosity hair, it has become one of my favorite oils to use as a serum because it is so lightweight. I have also used grapeseed oil mixed with the Requil conditioner as a deep conditioning treatment and it worked out really well for me. When I'm using it like a serum, I generally take a few drops of it and glaze the lengths of my hair and then scrunch. This is my day 4 hair and generally on day 4, I struggle a lot with my ends losing definition and looking very stretched out. Scrunching the ends of my hair with a bit of oil on my hand will really help me refresh my ends in the sense that it's going to help me achieve a fair bit of shrinkage at the bottom lengths of my hair. The next oil that I want to talk about is Moroccan Argan Oil. 
This oil is also best suited to low porosity hair because of how light it is. This oil is easily absorbed into the hair shaft and helps moisturize the strands and even prevent breakage. And even though this oil is best suited to low porosity hair, I'm always reaching for this oil when I need a serum. As you can see, while dropping out the oil, I went a little overboard, but I've never had any issues with breakouts with this oil, even if I messed up and used a bit too much. Okay, so here I realized that the lighting was very crappy and so I decided to move to a better location. That's much better. Just goes to show you that lighting is everything. Anyway, I really enjoy how shiny my hair looks despite several many days passing since my last wash day. And I've done no refreshing either. Just a bit of serum and my curls were pretty well during the week. Next, let's talk about Moringa oil. I'm not able to find any information on cuticle penetration. However, what I can say is that this oil is super light and I really enjoy using this as a serum. A subscriber named Parika recommended this particular oil to me and I've been using it ever since. This is another oil that also helps me significantly with shrinkage. As you can see, I'm taking a clump here where I've lost definition and I'm just coiling it a bit. It is a little difficult to finger coil dry hair and so I recommend just twisting it around in your hands in order to coil it. Anyway, coiling and scrunching the ends and will you look at that little ringlet. The next one that I want to talk about is the Vilva Hair Serum. This is for frizz and basically this formulation has glycerin in it. So it has a humectant in it. It has aloe vera, another humectant. It also has jasmine flower extract. I'm going to insert some footage here of its performance, me using it and what I thought about the formulation. Since this formulation is not just made of oil and it has other things in it, I'm going to put up a pop-up of the ingredients right here. The most unique thing about this serum is that it comes in a spray bottle. It's super light and spreadable, feels exactly like an oil, but just a teeny tiny bit lighter. You can obviously directly spray it on your hair, but I know myself really well. If I sprayed my hair, then I would definitely go overboard. And so I much prefer spraying it on the palm of my hands and then glazing my hair with it. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just going to glaze and scrunch. On this particular day, I saw that my clumps were coiling together. Whenever this happens, I prefer to separate my clumps a tiny bit with some oil on my hands. And I'm able to do this because I use a hard hold gel. And so my clumps don't fall apart. And also, can you see those tight ringlets forming on my hair? These are completely new. I've used exactly the same styling routine, same everything. So basically I'm noticing that my hair is becoming curlier as time passes. Anyway, so I'm lightly separating my clumps here. This is also gonna give me some more volume. Side note, I was having a conversation with someone in the comments the other day and they were talking about how they were very upset because they tend to have different curl patterns on their hair. And as you can see, so do I. This is super duper normal, guys. Most of us will have different curl patterns on our hair. And so the best thing to do is just embrace it. Why be one thing when you can be so many, right? Listen, why would you want to put yourself into a box of like 2B or 2C? And why do you have to just be one thing? It is okay. It is normal. It's fine. Let's just normalize this.
Okay, so the next one, and I feel like this has become like an absolute favorite of mine. When I think about a serum and I have to reach for one, this is the one that I prefer the most. This one is my absolute favorite because I feel like the formulation is super unique. I haven't seen anything like it. It's not just an oil, it is so much more. I'm talking about the hair serum by Earth Rhythm and man oh man do I love this product. If you go to their website and you check out the CG friendly section then you'll see that this is the only serum by the brand that is CG friendly. They do have others but I'm guessing those are not CG friendly. Again I'm gonna insert the ingredients right here and I'm gonna take you through my thoughts on the product and I'm also gonna demonstrate exactly how this works. Okay, so this serum. It took me a bit to really understand and appreciate the product. I've noticed that it looks and feels like an oily conditioner. But this is so totally different from a conditioner because it's more oily and more thick to the touch. In my experience, I've noticed that it works best with a bit of water. And again, I feel like high porosity girls with tighter curls are really gonna like this product, especially on days when you've lost curl definition completely. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gently going to smooth down a curl clump of mine with my nails and then I'm going to finger coil. This is going to give me a really pretty ringlet. Max to max I'll do this on like three or four clumps. I'm not going to go overboard and do all of my hair. I'll just pick out a few clumps that have lost definition completely and then I'm going to finger coil those sections. This will literally take me less than two minutes to do and it's also going to dry in a matter of minutes. And coming to a very interesting thing about the product is, as soon as it dries, it's gonna leave me with a pretty nice cast, which I'm gonna be able to SOTC. So once I'm done finger coiling a few pieces here and there, I'm gonna take the rest of my hair and then take a few pumps of the product on wet hands. I'm gonna emulsify the product on the palm of my hands and then I'm gonna glaze it on the lengths of my hair. And then I'll scrunch. It's important to experiment here and see how much you need. If you feel like you need a little bit more, then you can go for it. Just emulsify with water, glaze and then scrunch. This will dry super fast and leave you with a really nice cast. Once a few minutes have passed, all you have to do is crunch out the crunch and you're done. Okay, so needless to say, this is one of my favorites out of the lot that I've spoken about in this video. This is such a unique product. It performs like a refreshing product. Highly, highly, highly recommend for high porosity girls with tighter curl patterns. And also in my opinion, I feel like this product performs the best when it comes to fighting frizz. But don't use too much because this is on the heavier side and very honestly you need a teeny tiny bit. In my opinion, it is best used with wet hands or on damp hair because when applied to dry hair, that is when it tends to feel super greasy and also has the potential to break you out. And so if you're using this, be careful with this guys. Otherwise, I've used this product for months and I really, really, really like it. But all things considered, this is the best serum that I've come across. I highly recommend. This absolutely gets my stamp of approval. So if you enjoyed this video, then there's a very good chance that you might enjoy one of these. And feel free to go through my channel, you'll find so much content if you're interested in hair care.